Midway through the 2019 season, and mere months away from moving, the Raiders had a falling out with Las Vegas and would no longer be able to relocate to Sin City. With their deal in the desert no longer on the table, and with no contracts in place with the city of Oakland, the Raiders needed somewhere to go, and somewhere to go fast. After the disastrous news, Raiders owner Mark Davis decided to sell his controlling stake in the team, which was quickly gobbled up by none other than the Gorge University legend Anthony Shelton. Daryl Steinberg, the mayor of Sacramento, reached out to Shelton and offered to fund a new stadium, with the caveat that the Raiders rebrand to something more fitting with the city. Being on the verge of becoming extinct, Raiders ownership set up focus group after focus group to find a name. After days of unsuccessful ideas, Anthony Shelton, while shaving with his sharp and comfortable manscaped razors and eating an incredible deep dish DiGiorno pizza, while sitting at a Kings game with tickets courtesy of SeatGeek, thought of the perfect team name. While the Raiders were near extinction, so had been the California Condor. The stage was set, and Shelton was ready to bring the NFL to the state capital. The Condor's logo is... I don't know, it kind of looks like a bird? But in the abstract. And our home uniform is a nice uh, gray pant with a purple jersey, gray helmets, and uh, on the shoulder pads, some gray wings. You know, keeping that bird theme going. The away uniforms, purple pants, white jerseys with the uh, purple wings on the shoulder pad, and again, those gray helmets. All right, so it's now the off season. After the 2019 season, you can see up at the top, the Saints beat the Browns in the Super Bowl, 38 to 21. And we've got a lot of contracts to discuss. We'll look at our staff. I made sure that I did a bunch of scouting for our draft, but I think that we're gonna probably cut some fat off and try to get pick up a, a few draft picks if we can. A lot of players here to negotiate with, but a lot of money that we have to look at. Honestly, with a lot of these players, I just don't see the reason for us to be spending 13 million on a 78 overall running back. So if we have to start from scratch and sign a bunch of uh, cheap players, that's fine. But we're going to uh, we're going to withdraw a lot of offers here. We are going to try to keep Jalen Richer around. Um, you know, asking for a couple mil less, and he's only two overall lower than Isaiah Crowell, and he's got star development. Uh, but we messed the negotiation up, so. <laughs> We're not going to franchise tag him. That fair offer of 11 mil, we, we offered him nearly 14 and he wouldn't take it. All right, well, <laughs> I was real stingy. We're going to not get a whole lot of guys. We will re-sign a few players. Uh, I mean, you can just look through here at the bottom. Not a whole lot of high overall guys, but, uh, you know, maybe we can, we can draft well. And uh, this is going to be a long rebuild for sure. We can't change it right now but we are going to be changing up our staff. We might keep uh, John Gruden around as the head coach. We're definitely want, gonna want a scout that's looking probably either at offensive line or defensive backs, and we definitely want a better trainer. So after everybody that we lost to free agency is gone, this is the roster that we're left with. 79 overall, um, kind of interesting. We are probably gonna look for a, a different quarterback than Derek Carr. We might try to trade AB here for maybe a good draft pick. And we're going to want to draft a better O-line. Maybe, uh, maybe a new wide receiver since we're getting rid of uh, Brown on defense. Um, our defensive line is honestly pr pretty decent. We'll look to the linebacker core here in free agency. Um, and we might look for some secondary players as well. Corner-wise, we're doing okay. We could probably use a new corner, and I like our safeties. So we currently have the number four draft pick. I'm going to see if we can go ahead and get the number one away from the Giants. We're offering Derek Carr right now. They're not buying, so we're going to look for something else. We also have the 27th uh, pick of the draft, as well as a couple of third rounders, a fourth rounder, a fifth rounder, a sixth, and a seventh. So we now have the number one overall and the number four overall draft picks. And an interesting one for the third pick, we're gonna give up Antonio Brown and Brandon Marshall. For the third overall pick, we're going to trade Antonio Brown and Brandon Marshall. 
And for the 18th pick in the first round, again, maybe reaching a little bit, giving up uh, Colton Miller and Tahir Whitehead. We're going to trade Trent Brown and Max Crosby now as our final trade to the Packers for the 16th overall pick. Now, Trent Brown, pretty solid, but we got rid of him because he had a, a pretty big hit to our salary cap at like 21 million. So that frees up, I mean, look at it. We got 55.5 million cap room. Now we can kind of hit up the free agency market a little bit and hopefully have a good draft. You can see it drops our overall down all the way to 74, uh, but we should be okay. Uh, we can see here that it says our cap room now after those trades is 17.6 million. So we're gonna take a look to see what we have. And wait, here it says 22 million. Uh, kind of interesting. So there's a few things that we know that we need. Um, we know that we need a quarterback, but we're going to try to draft one that's good. I think that we can find somebody pretty solid. We really need a left and a right guard. And we're going to be pretty safe with this. We don't want to spend a huge amount, so we will offer, I think, Graham Glasgow. We give him a, a decent offer. There's not a whole lot amount of solid left guards here. So we're, I think, maybe just going to bank on drafting somebody. Now, I already mentioned that age was a thing for me. And uh, Danny here is already 30 years old. But 78 overall, star development, scheme fit. And only at 10 mil, I think we'll offer him. And we're really going to try to pinch the pennies here. Only 87 points on our bid there. Final spot we're going to kind of look at right now is corner. And again, we don't want to spend too much. Right now, showing a 12.2 million cap space. And honestly, not a whole lot of uh, talent that I'm really liking here. So I think we'll offer Quentin Dunbar here really, really cheap. 77 overall, though. Um, and we'll give him a pretty fair offer. 91 points. And uh, I think we'll, we'll see what we can do with that. So the guys that we offer, Glasgow... Trevathan and uh, Dunbar here all accepting their offers. I wish that they were a little bit younger. I think their kind of average age there is 28 and a half years old or so. But we're already going up a little bit in overall. We've come back to, up to 75. We can take a quick look here at the draft class and see why I'm not too worried about finding a quarterback. Seems like a pretty solid uh, quarterback class here. Taylor David, Trey Orchard, and Daryl Bass, or Bass, who knows. Um, all looking like they could be solid. Not the greatest combine grades out of them, but, but the uh, the A-plus throw power from Taylor David. So if we take a quick look at our draft board, there's, uh, you know, not a huge amount of offensive players on here. A lot of linemen, though, uh, and a lot of defenses linemen as well, so... We might focus in on that, and uh, who knows? Maybe we draft one of the quarterbacks a little bit later in the first round. Okay, we're in the final week of the offseason before the draft. We have a bunch of those first round picks, and here's a quick look at our draft board. We'll just scroll through. Um, many things that we're kind of looking for are quarterback. Uh, I mean, I guess you can see on the left, quarterback offensive line. Uh, like, all of our offensive line could use an upgrade. And then the, in the defense, I'm kind of just looking for linebackers and maybe a little bit of defensive line as well. But we're just going to go ahead and hop right in here to the uh, the NFL draft. A look at where some players signed after free agency. We see Tyreek Hill goes to the Bills. Kareem Hunt also goes to the Bills. Nelson Aguilar to the Seahawks. Devondre Campbell goes to the Colts. And one more random one. Let's see, who's who's it going to be? That's a star. Uh, Jaleel Aday going to the Cowboys. All right, without further ado, let's let's get into this NFL draft. <laughs> Just looking up at the top, three of the first four picks are us. So that gives us a lot of wee leeway. Uh, of course, I'm going to look every single pick to see what we can get trade-wise because we might be wise to trade down. Honestly, this this offer from the Bills, not too bad. I think we might take this. We drop in the first round, but we pick up a second rounder and we get a first rounder for next year. Uh, that's hard to that's hard to pass up. We're, we're definitely going to take that trade. So the Bills with the number one overall pick will take Taylor David, quarterback out of Alabama with the number two pick. 
Uh oh, Trey Orchard, uh, quarterback out of San Diego State, is going to go to the Vikings. We could continue to get good picks. Um, you know, trade down in the first round here and pick up another first round or in a third round or next year, but we need to pick up a quarterback here before they're all gone. So, Daryl, we're going to say Daryl Bass, I think. Or maybe Daryl Bass. I don't know. You guys can let me know how we want to pronounce this. Uh, but we're going to take the quarterback out of LSU. 6'4 is pretty damn solid. Field general archetype. His throw under pressure and his short throw accuracy is not great. And he is a late first rounder. So we're most likely going to be reaching here. But I need to make sure that we pick up a quarterback before they're all gone. So we'll go ahead and grab this man. 71 overall. Hidden. Okay. Hidden development. That's good news for us. That is very good news. We did reach. Um, but again, it's something that we're going to need. And, you know, uh, I, I think we can make him okay. 71 overall right now, but only going to get better. Now with the fourth pick, we're again just going to kind of look to see for somebody. Man, if anybody knows how to get rid of this hold the reorder uh, like glitch, I would love it because it is so annoying. <laughs> we got D's across the board for our offensive needs. Um, question is, what's really the best? I wish that I could have this ordered by uh, by how good they really are. We're looking for an early first round talent on the uh, offensive line, but I wouldn't be against taking a defensive lineman. It looks like Xavier Norris is going to be better. Six foot seven. He's a little bit taller. He's got a little bit more weight on him. His impact block is higher and the pass block finesse and run block, you know, run blocks B plus as opposed to a B plus pass block. His combine grade is better. Um, the three cone, the shuttle, the bench second for right tackles, whereas Jamal Pope is third for the vert and broad jump. And so I think, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and draft Xavier Norris out of Boston College and hope that the uh, the pass protector works well for us. Ooh, okay. Number three in true value, there we go. Finally making a good decision in this draft. Another uh, hidden development trait. Uh, number three, we dropped him at number four, 77 overall, 96 strength. That's going to be nice. The Cardinals will take Tyler Winborn, the right end out of Washington State with the fifth. So again, we're at pick 12. You can see three more first rounders up there. Um, the Panthers just took a corner out of Maryland. But we're going to go ahead and see what we can get. So we still need guards. Question is, uh, what's really going to be good and what's available to us? So the only first round talent right guard that I could find was uh, Spencer Whitlock. Uh, he's a late first rounder, so we're going to hope that he's available with one of these later picks. And so instead, we're going to look at the, uh, the left tackle spot. Now, again, up to two different spots. Both of these guys, Corey Good and Cliff Tyson, are supposed mid first rounders. I don't know if I like that. Agile is the, both of their archetypes. One out of Texas A&M, one out of Nevada. I think that we're going to go for the guy who's got the A-minus run block and pass block, though, and draft Cliff Tyson, the left tackle, out of Texas A&M. And another good pick, <laughs> and we're just barely doing it. Normal development rate, 75 overall. It's not the greatest, but uh, he's ranked 11th in true value, and we got him at 12, so again, pretty solid pick, I'd say. Our next pick is here at round one. Pick 16, the Steelers just took a DT out of LSU. 75 overall, that's pretty solid. And just looking through, I'm honestly a little bit tempted to take John LeBlanc out of uh, Baylor. He's considered an early first rounder. Pretty uh, pretty agile looking guy. With a receiving back archetype, and you know we could use a receiving back, I think. Um, while I could use a right guard I'm not sure I mean Spencer Whitlock is a late first rounder so we know we're going to be reaching there I guess we could get lucky with it um but maybe we'll maybe we'll pick up the running back next or or we take a chance here we could also do something like picking up another uh corner I'm going to be running zone defense so I mean that's a nice combine grade pretty quick guy 4 4 40 good on the broad jump the three cone the shuttle and the bench it's also a good safety here. Nice early talent and again looking good. And I know that I said 
that I was going to focus a lot on offensive line, but I've made the decision. I think we're going to go with Ross Finley out of UCLA. Um, I, I think that that's going to be a good true value pick. And he's, oh, look at that. Number six in true value. We get him at 16. Another hidden dev, dev trait guy. 76 overall. I think that was definitely worth it. Not the quickest guy, uh, but uh, I think that, that could be a good pick for us. We just have one more pick between two so we can hope that the uh the ravens don't take anything crazy they're gonna go with a dt out of ucf and now with the 18th pick i'm actually gonna go ahead and just grab john leblanc uh, out of baylor that receiving back and try to get another good guy another hidden development trait number two in true value 78 overall at only 21 years old that that could be absolutely fantastic for this team 91 speed and acceleration. I love that. We've got to skip a ways to our next pick. And still in the first round, I'm not sure. A right tackle was just taken. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get our guard, but I hope that we can. And look at that. Spencer Whitlock, the right guard that we wanted. We were patient, and we're still going to be able to get him in the first round. And look at that. Again, we don't even have to reach for him. Another hidden dev trait and another good pick solid strength and a pretty good lead block there as well and i'm not not upset with his acceleration his stamina and injury and toughness is all pretty solid we'll go ahead and skip to the next one we're into the second round now second round pick 12 and uh this is where we start to figure out you know what exactly we can get so we've picked three offensive linemen a quarterback a running back and a free safety and I think here in round two, we're going to go ahead and pick up a left end. Tyler Doss, um, not the greatest combine grade, but a mid first rounder, A minus power moves, solid pursuit and hit power, six foot five. You know, I, I think I like it. We're going to take it. And uh, good pick again, number 12 in true value, normal dev trait. So that kind of sucks. But uh, the fact that we're drafting him so far down, I like getting good picks i don't like to reach we got to wait a ways here uh for an early third rounder and again we're just basically looking for solid players after scrolling through the scouted players i know that we've already drafted one right tackle but i don't know how i can ignore another first round talent we're just gonna go ahead and grab gilbert isaac uh, we can always move them around and again another good pick unfortunately normal dev trait 71 overall but uh i mean we're we're just trying to draft up in true value that's my one goal now we got to skip basically all the way to the fourth round for our next pick you remember we had to trade a few uh few picks so fourth round pick four we traded away some linebacker talent earlier in this um and just looking through the scouted linebackers you know, we could always move somebody around, but I made a note that I wanted a middle linebacker. Don Walsh, he's a little bit short, only 5'11 out of uh, Ferris State, but talent for a mid-second rounder. Uh, number one middle linebacker in the three cone and the bench press, and an A- minus tackle, that's pretty solid. Uh, we could get a good run stopper here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and go up again. Again, normal dev trait, only 68 overall, but uh, 47 in true value. I, I like that. Got solid acceleration and speed as well. Uh, 87 and 84 respectively. With that 82 tackle, 77 strength. That's not bad. Skipping ahead again. So far, I feel like we've done okay. I feel like our draft grade would be okay, except maybe we've ignored some positions we like. And we'll go ahead and see what we can get here. Round five, pick four again. Basically, everybody left on the... Uh, on the board that we've scouted was not very good so we're kind of going into uncharted territory here and this might be where we just start to pick up uh, positions that we absolutely need so a left guard and a center and we'll hope that maybe we get a little bit lucky in finding somebody but i think that we're gonna take a chance here let's take a look jacob parker we don't know anything about him his combine stuff isn't terrible for centers um projected as an early six rounder we're gonna hope that he's better although i have a feeling we're gonna reach here and yeah oh we reached bad we reached real bad jacob parker first real big mistake in this draft 
And we're going to skip all the way ahead to the seventh round. I think this is our final pick. And so with our final pick, again, I might just go and take a look at left guards and hope that uh, somebody's okay. I mean, we could at, ver at the very least get a scheme fit guy. Um, or we could look at Garrison Frederick out of BYU. He's got the best combine grade. You never really know, though. Uh, how about Rashad Clements? First in left guard for the three cone. He's, so he's pretty quick. But we're going to do it anyway. Kids that coming out of Alabama. It can't be that bad, right? No. Well, not as bad as the last pick, but we definitely reach again. So those final two, basically, once we ran out of players that we scouted, uh, things are looking a bit, little bit worse. But uh, we'll, we'll try to hire a new scout to look at uh, offensive linemen this upcoming year and really try to knock it out of the park there and then just hope for some good development. So the draft has come to an end, and uh, we'll take a look at what we got. We signed Daryl Bass. I think we're going to say Bass um, as the uh, third pick overall. Just mediocre. Uh, 71 overall. You know, nothing special. And then we start picking up some good stuff here. Uh, Xavier Norris, the right tackle. Then we go left tackle with Cliff Tyson. Ross fin Finley at free safety, and then John LeBlanc at running back. A couple of really solid picks here in the middle of the first rounds. Um, Spencer Whitlock, I think, was another solid grab. Uh, Tyler Doss wasn't too terrible. Uh, you know, we, we were really solid up until these last two, really, with the center and the left guard. But everywhere else, we did a pretty solid job. And if we look at our overalls, I mean... John LeBlanc has a chance to become really good, especially since he's only 21 and already at 78 overall. So our offensive line depth isn't that great. We only have one left tackle in Cliff Tyson, the rookie. Left guard, we just moved Gabe Jackson over from right guard. So we have a 78 and a 77 overall guard uh, combo. But other than that, there's Rashad Clement, our, our bad pick there. Another rookie center. Another rookie of uh, 54 overall, Jacob Parker. So we might move another one of these right guards. Graham Glasgow will keep there, but I think uh, it'll be Spencer Whitlock that will move over. And at right tackle, we have a solid amount of depth. So we're going to go ahead and move Gilbert Isaac, the rookie, over to the other side. We're a little thin in the linebacker spot, so we're going to go ahead and move uh, Markel Lee over to the uh, left outside linebacker. And while things are going to be far from uh, easy, we'll go ahead and adjust the lineup. 75 overall, so we stay at that 75 overall. And uh, I love seeing a couple of stars, a couple of uh, hidden dev traits in our offense and uh, the defense. You know, we've got uh, Finley as the backup free safety. Who knows? Maybe we trade... Lamarcus Joyner and let Finley start to develop, but 76 overall as a rookie is going to be pretty incredible. Now, with all that done, we'll go ahead and advance to the preseason. Training for preseason week one is being completed, and we're going to go ahead and head on the road to Green Bay for our first preseason game. We will be doing the full game. Um, we're on all pro with eight minute quarters and uh, an accelerated clock. So we'll just get into this and see how we fare. Green Bay only 81 overall, so not like incredibly good compared to us, but we'll hope for the best. It is the first game in Sacramento Condors history. We're on the road in the preseason. I'm curious to see what we can get done. We had a pretty, you know, successful draft. A lot of uh, hidden dev trait guys is usually a good idea. The question is, how do they perform on the field, and how am I going to play? Uh, if, you're, if you've watched this channel before, you know that we're NCA 14, and I've only been playing Madden for, I don't know, maybe a, maybe a week's worth of, of stream. Uh, probably less than that, really, so I'm not the greatest at this game yet. We'll see, especially with a bad team, how I'm able to do. We'll be uh, running a cover two for most of this, usually in the zone. Now, unlike the North Main State series, we'll probably try to go through these games a little bit quicker, make the episodes shorter, and uh, just all around make it a m easier experience. So that might m see us going with the uh, it key moments sim. We'll see. Whatever I can do to shorten these episodes will be important as 
Kind of left a man open over the middle of the field. They're going deep, and that's a big catch. Not something that you want to give up is, uh... They're just going to keep throwing on me. And this is bad news. Joiner gets beat. And I think he was out of bounds. Are they calling that a touchdown? No. Second and ten. We got lucky there. And they do call it an incompletion. So second and ten. We live to see another day. And they're just going to continue to throw on us. Another corner end zone throw. And we get the interception. Perfect timing user pick. I got the user in this game, guys. Defense steps up early. And now it's up to the offense to see if we can get it going. The all-rookie backfield with Bass and LeBlanc. We're going to hand it off, and LeBlanc getting nothing. You know, I should have seen that. Uh, I should have seen that coming, maybe audibled out of it, but I had to go for it. All righty, we'll see what Bass can do through the air. Our first time throwing, second and 13. Remember, running back's a receiving guy, but we're going to go ahead and find Wilson. And uh, that's a pretty solid second down. Try the 0-1 trap on third and three. What can we get for LeBlanc? Is the offensive line going to be good enough to get us a bl block? Oh, absolutely. Big first down there. We'll try to get him to the edge. A few blocks. I like it. I like it, LeBlanc. Back juke won't work, but across midfield, we could put up points early here. That would be massive. They're going to leave Jacobs in an interesting spot there, so I will absolutely throw out to him. And uh, base starting 2-2. Two two. Good 34-yard throw there. Might be looking for Renfro out on the edge. Oh, that's a... Bruh. What am I doing? Uh, oh, if you think I throw a lot of picks and NCAA 14, you're going to be real impressed with how many I throw in this game. It's a pick six just like that. Oh, I should never say anything about getting points on the board. Try to give this ball to Jacobs on the run. Bounce it to the edge, and that's six. Nice job there. We'll go right back to him in the holes there. Jacobs gets in. Uh, not seeing really anything. We'll try to heave one deep. Oh, no. Tack. Oh, wow. My turnovers are the only reason that Green Bay has points. And they're going to get a field goal out of this. Now, I have blocked one kick before. It was on Twitch stream, so you can watch it. But not going to happen today. And, wow. My offense has given Green Bay 10 points. No other reason that they, they have points now. See if we can get this uh, completion. Uh-oh, that's a, not a good throw, and it's an interception. Really an arm punt. I threw that way too late. They want to bring pressure. It's a handoff up the middle, and that was the easiest touchdown. Try to throw here as much as we can. That's another risky Bruh. throw, and it's going to be another pick six. Unless Kirkland can manage to save this. I am garbage. It's as simple as that. I have given Green Bay 17 points for free. We'll try to continue to expose their secondary risky throw going up here. And Bruh. it's just overthrown. Peterman, he's killing me. He's killing me. Doesn't even put it in a chance for the receiver to get to it. It's the end of the third quarter. We're down 10 and we just gave up the ball. Fourth and five. We're down 10. A little bit of a wind here in Green Bay, and we're going to try the kick. Hopefully I put it inside. Bruh. It got blocked. Are you kidding me? How many points am I just going to give up? Green Bay's offense has scored, what, a touchdown? Their defense and special teams has done so damn much. And I'm dead inside right now. Bruh. What a way to end it. Well, at the end of the day, what we've really learned is that our backups are not that great. We need to dial things in turnover-wise and God help our special teams. Peterman, awful day. I don't even want to talk about it. Five interceptions, but uh, Daryl Bass, um, you know, six of seven, only one incompletion, pretty solid. Uh, he did throw a pick as that one incompletion, but I am definitely fine with the way that he threw. And LeBlanc averaging 7.4 uh, on his five touches. I mean, hopefully, you know, when, when that rookie backfield starts to get going, they're going to become pretty electric. But just overall, a choke job from us. 
went up early should have stayed up early for a very long time but couldn't stop myself from giving them points well guys that's gonna do it hopefully you're uh, as excited as i am about this new series it'll be edited a little bit different from the north main state ones and uh, hopefully it makes my job a little bit easier and it makes the videos a little bit shorter so that you you can watch them all and not feel like you're wasting your time at all um if you have any you know comments on what i could do better you know whether that's gameplay or, or decision making feel free to let me know and if you liked what you saw definitely feel free to subscribe i really appreciate all all of you who have already done so if you want to watch more men or maybe some ncaa uh go ahead and head on over to twitch.tv slash 69 where we're live throughout the week and uh you know depending on what day you show up we'll be playing certain games but uh different uh rebuilds and, and dynasties and franchises going on all over the place over there but regardless thank you for tuning in i appreciate it a lot um curious to see how this goes uh curious to see how you guys thought uh my my decisions have been so far and how the draft went but anyways my name is poot master and you know i guess you guys aren't the short kings for these videos i guess a condor is kind of like a big vulture so let's try that. My name is Poonmaster, and you guys are the vultures? And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.